The electric eel is a freshwater fish with specialized organs that emit electricity. Many animal species sense or communicate, for example, courtship, their environment using electricity. A few species, including electric eels, stingrays, and catfish, can generate enough electricity to stun other fish. However, most of the time, nothing happens to these fish themselves. Initial examination showed that the victim died at approximately 19 to 24 years of age. Also, his muscular build indicated that the man was engaged in archery. The victim had a healed scar on his forehead, suggesting he had taken part in a previous battle. Experts from the universities of Siena and Insubria determined the details of the victim's attack by examining four large lesions on the skull with physical examination, a three-dimensional digital microscope, and computed tomography. According to the findings, published in the Journal of Archaeological Science Reports, the position and angles of the wounds on the skull indicate that the young man faced the attacker and was struck in the upper part of the head with a gun. The wound was not deep, indicating that the victim used a shield to parry the blow. It is believed that the man then turned around and tried to escape. However, the victim, who did not manage to escape, received two more blows, one on the side of the ear and one on the back of the neck. These blows are thought to have been powerful enough to knock the young man to the ground and perhaps cause him to lose consciousness. After that, another blow is struck to the top of the skull, and its depth indicates that the victim was not trying to fend off the attacker and that the attack was intended to kill. It is stated that the final blow probably killed the victim immediately. The attacker probably took the victim by surprise, said Kiara Tessi, lead author of the study. According to Tessi, the murder was committed for a complicated reason. The use of forensic techniques to look at head trauma and how these wounds occur is really interesting, said anthropologist Caroline Wilkinson, who commented on the study.